Siga mi comando y no habrá problema. Pelé es listo el que gane el mejor. In a welterweight title fight, the left hand, still considerable distance between Tito and Hugo Pineda. Pineda's disadvantage. Most frequent offering from either of the fighters. With overwhelming enthusiasm to any Trinidad punch. Right hand lands for Felix. Felix has stalked and moved his feet closer to the feet of Pineda. Inside for Pineda. Little left lands for Trinidad. Pineda overshoots with the right. Now Trinidad comes back with another straight right hand. Counter right hand lands for Trinidad. And maintains some distance between himself and Felix Trinidad. To assume either that he's laying a trap here. Trinidad landed a body shot moments ago, the first time he's gone to Pineda's body. Aggressively more aggressive as round two continues. Right hand lands over the top. At almost anything that Tito throws near. He was knocked down in the fourth and seventh rounds and eventually the fight was stopped in the 11th. One of the most interesting notes from the Zoo fight is that Pineda had a lot of trouble finding Zoo, a lot of trouble landing against him and Zoo. Straight left hand by Pineda was blocked by the right glove of Trinidad. Now Trinidad snakes his right hand up the middle against Pineda. From what I've seen of Trinidad and watch Trinidad there, he slips a jab, slips another jab, and one by going under it. Ready to go where, I wonder. Ready to go after Pineda if you're listening to Tito's dad, Don King. Still ongoing negotiation for the Delaware fight. Brilliant left hook landed by Trinidad. Patient Trinidad. Trinidad stalking. Straight Punching. right hand lands again. Low blow by Trinidad and referee Roberto Ramirez immediately stops him to give Pineda a chance to cover a cover. That was a low blow, and Pineda has his trunks on very low as well. Yeah, Pineda not exercising the tall man's option to wear the uh, the cup and the, uh, the up around his ribcage. Well, both of them are standing in the pocket right now. Yeah, you don't want to stand in the pocket and trade with Felix Trinidad. He's too short, too quick, too powerful a puncher. That he's going to have to hit, or hit back with something. Know that he just can't come in without expecting something in return. Pineda doing a good job of continuing to fire. So the Trinidad has to measure his aggression. Can't just go straight in. Trinidad with a very accurate punching third round. Here you see Trinidad landing the best punch of the fight. Pineda took it well measures his punches in such a way that they come at you different speeds. Vignetta starting to throw a little more freely now in the opening minute of round four, and he pays a price for it. The more I watch Pineda, Jim, the more I think to myself, this is the biggest welterweight I've ever seen in my life. Uh, a small dog that looks like a big dog. Our experts that the uh, tallest measured welterweight of recent prominence was Maurice Blocker. 6-2. Left hook lands again for Trinidad. Crowd wars and appreciation. Missing with that left hook, bounces that one off the top of Pineda's head. Pineda trying to come back, roundhouse punches leave the opening, Trinidad leaves the right hand right up the middle. Now goes to the body. In the midst of all that head hunting, Pineda fights him back. Right uppercut landed, left hook landed. Pineda taking these punches well, but Trinidad This is the opportunity of a 
lifetime for Pineda. He's trying to make the best of it against one of the best fighters in the world. He's hanging in there while the crowd roars as though Tito has floored him twice. Left hook to the body, and Pineda couldn't handle that one. Spits out his mouthpiece. Looks like he doesn't want to get up. He's going to get up. This fight is over. Felix Trinidad with a fourth round knockout on a body punch. His destiny is he's completely confident of everything he does in the ring. A calm, assassin-like performance by Felix Trinidad as he takes out the very game. Hugo Pineda in the fourth round. I say game because Pineda was up to that point, although he didn't want to get up after taking the body shot.